Hello, my name is Derek Fernie. I'm an injured worker. Uh, I wanted to do a, a, a video about this because it has to be done. If you're an injured worker and you want to get on the YouTube, you have to put your own face up there. If you got somebody else making the video for you, you have to get onto the video with them. You can't just have somebody stating your case because that's not good enough. Even if you have a, a mental handicap, you can sit beside the person uh, to show the people that are on here wa watching these videos that you do exist. Uh, because we have a lot of police and we have a lot of uh, WCB workers and av act, uh, adjudicators and that trying to set us up, trying to uh, undo the, the work that we're doing. And, and uh, the way we have this set up, you, you, have to be, you have to be visual. Now, if you can't do that, there's no point in putting anything up on the YouTube. And, uh, and anything that deviates from what our cause is. Our cause is to help injured workers, nothing else. We don't care about anything else. We don't want jokes. We don't want T-shirts. We, uh, uh, unless maybe on the day that we're going to demonstrate at uh, the day of mourning or something, we might be wearing T-shirts. But that's a, again up to the injured worker. Uh, but it's this isn't. It, this is no joke. It's not cutesy. Uh, cutesy doesn't cut it because people won't watch that. And we don't need uh, to deviate from what we're we're here for. We want people, including the enemy, the government, and their lackeys, to watch this. And we want them to be afraid because they know that we're organizing. This is what we want. Uh, I don't particularly care if they try to infiltrate us. They can do whatever they 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 feel like doing. But they're going to have a hard time because uh, not no one is is controlling what anybody does. Uh, really, uh, we're, we're one big group all over the country and, and uh, no one member knows exactly who's who. So, they, you know, go ahead, boys, have fun. But the whole point is we're here to get a job done and our job is to uh, reform WCB or get rid of it. That's what we're here to do. Uh, that aside, we have other deals. Uh, we have other deals like going on, like uh, what lengths these people will go to to uh, to uh, rip off an injured worker uh, to prove that he's some kind of a rip, uh, safety risk to them, of course, not to himself, but to them. Uh, and how much money that they're willing to spend. They, they, they ship people into other towns for... Uh, as they did in the case of that fella there that's uh, on Mr. Cody's uh, blog site there for 17 days in a in a city. Uh, at the end of the day, by the time they get finished screwing around, they would have been better off to pay the man and not harass them. But they spend more money trying to rip off injured workers than they actually save. And the business community should be looking at this. You know, uh, when you have to hire uh, XRCMP officers and, and and PIs wherever they come from, I'm more inclined to believe they're all XRCMP, and you have to hire them to uh, follow injured workers around and and videotape them. This this isn't done cheaply. These people are, for one thing, usually they're collecting a federal pension before anything happens, and then uh, they're, they're uh, being paid a big m amount of money, uh, as in the one, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's incredible. These people are just beyond belief. And then when they go to retrain, like in the one case there that I've got, uh, they spend $33,000 to retrain this fella for a ten dollar an hour job. The guy could have went to college and got a college degree for what he spent training for a ten dollar an hour job. Now it's obvious that this is bureaucracy out of control and it's become omnipotent which is even more scary because it doesn't matter who you are. I mean it could be anyone. The minute you become omnipotent you lose your 
humanity. And this is what's happened in, in the case of WCB. It's no longer, it, it, there's no humanity in it. They don't care about what they're doing. They don't care that they're destroying injured workers' lives. They don't care that the babies of these injured workers are going hungry. They don't, they don't care that they're not learning properly at school. They could care less. Nothing matters to these people because these fat lard asses that are sitting in their chair doing this to people, they're eating three squares today and their, their kids are not going hungry and they have a good laugh. And then, of course, when this worker kills himself, then they fake the tears and the bullshit and the remorse, something that it's totally alien to these people. And and then, you know, it's the injured worker is done, his family's destroyed, the, the person is dead, and it no longer costs the WCB any money. And they're happy and they go they go about their business. Now we have to bring this to an end, one way or another. And we're gonna do this. And uh I, w I would like to know, I still haven't heard from injured workers across the country, exactly how many ex-RCMP are working for the WCB security force. Now this, you know, it, it just reminds me of one of these third world countries where they have a dictatorship in control and they have a private private police force that run around killing and, and, uh, and uh, silencing the, the, uh, the objectors. And this is what's happening in Canada. I would have never thought in all my years that Canada would have turned out the way it has. It's a, it's a goddamn disgrace as far as I'm concerned. And, and all our, our, our fathers and our uncles and, and cousins and that that went and fought for this country, they should have stayed at home because the Nazis won. They're in control. <laughs> and anybody that doesn't think so is out of their mind. They just have to be involved with what we're doing and, and what's happening to us to see this. So it's time the public woke up and got with the program. No cutesy, just straight facts. Put If, if, if you've got a spouse that's been injured badly, put him, get them sitting beside you. They don't have to talk, but get them up there so people can see what these people have done to them. You know, that's what we want. We want that shock value. We want people to see what's being done to the Canadian public. Putting paperwork up on the uh, uh, YouTube, it, it doesn't make any difference because people don't read it. I don't even read my own paperwork, never mind somebody else's, because it depresses the hell out of me when I read about it. What I do is I look at people's faces and, and, and I judge what's happening to them and I hear their stories from their own mouths and what's happening to them and I look at it accordingly. Uh, if you, you hide things, I don't, I don't want any part of you because it, it, it looks to me like something's going on and, and uh, it's unfortunate but, and, and a, a few people that are really injured workers will go by the wayside but that's the way it goes I mean in order to have security you have to have proof of who you're dealing with and that's just the way it goes but anyways that's the end of this video